Hello snooker fans, welcome to the Snooker Pro Club YouTube channel and here I have Snooker Professional ranking event uh, winner shootout 2018. He has to, I guess. Yes! He, Six. he made also one for seven uh, Paul Hunter Classic one year ago and he played uh, with uh, Neil Robertson in World Snooker Championships. So, welcome to Kiev. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, uh, I wanted to ask you how you're preparing for this um, World Snooker season and how many hours you're practicing right now and uh, uh, what is your goals for the next season? Yeah, so um, at the moment, you know, the, the season's all year round, so I'm, I'm putting anywhere between six and eight hours a day. Uh, I'm doing a variation of uh, solo practices and playing with other players, other professionals. Um, I think it's very important to test yourself in, in practice in order to you know push yourself and get ready for tournaments. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting the hard work in and, and seeing where it goes. But you know, I've come to Kiev and it's a fantastic city from what I've seen, and it's great to see so many young players taking the game up, and it looks like they're enjoying it as well. So that's amazing. Tell me about your childhood because you won under 21s. So you're playing a game for a long time. So tell me when you start to improve a lot, like when you felt that your your game is going to another level. Yeah, so I, I first started playing when I was uh, nine years old. I always loved the game, um, and I, I just it was just one of them things. You if you enjoy something, you keep doing it, and if you keep doing it, you eventually you're going to get better. So it was just all down to hard work, a lot of practice hours, and you know, playing different people, going to lots of competitions, and just learning. And you know, every day I'm learning and. Yeah. yeah. As I watch you on YouTube videos, you have you have such a nice cue action, which are so great. So, how you developed your cue action? Did you work by yourself or with coaches? Uh, when I first began playing, there was a ex professional who was a family friend, and he gave me a base technique to work from, a very orthodox cue action. Um, so I just I practiced this, I practiced this, and then eventually you kind of make something your own. Um, but again, it comes with hard work and you know putting many many hours in. Um, and yeah, so it's you know nothing comes naturally. You work hard at it, and soon it becomes natural. Okay, so I'm gonna wish you a good um, next season. And now I'm gonna ask you show your favorite shot on the table, so that people could see how your cue action just a little bit. From yeah, the um, what kind of shot would you like to see? Is uh, what you, thank you like the most personally, you? Cool. There's nothing better than potting a long red, um, possibly off the break off, and then holding for the black, and then okay. getting in. You okay, know. so we're gonna find this uh, space on the table and try. Wow, well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna this give my pressure. cue. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just think about this is World Snooker Championship and you're playing for the hundred grand, you know? Oh, perfect. Yeah, no pressure. No pressure. Yeah. Okay. I have quite a okay cue, so it wouldn't be. Only tip is gone. Where's the rest of the tip? <laughs> you need new one. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I hope that it's not what gonna shed. <laughs> uh, Horrible. It's, it's, I know. It's a, it's a nice shape, but it's small. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It needs new one, I think. Okay, just I don't know how to put the balls, but you said you want yeah, to. Yeah, no. So, so when a, so when someone breaks off, you know you have to. Just we want to see here inside. Yeah, so you know, pretend there's there's a the player's just broken off. Normally they come, they pop, they clip off the pack. They come round three cushions. Yeah. They learn around this position. Okay. Uh, usually they they will a red will come out around here. Yeah. Usually, not always, but usually. And you know, there's there's always going to be just one, two, or three reds maybe coming out. So. Uh, there's very little risk. If you do miss, the only red you're going to leave on is this. Well, I basically shot on nothing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But if you if you miss the ball and it wobbles and it stays there, then it's not really a shot. Good. Nothing, so, Good. so um, insights for the professionals. So youngsters learn. Yeah. So I mean, if you do have a long shot and you see little risk, I mean, if if, if all the reds were open like this, yeah, scattered around, it, it's probably a, a more risky shot. Um, but it depends how you're feeling, if you're that kind of player and that. Um, but yeah, just this shot where you... If 
where you're just dropping the ball in yeah. soft, try and land low on the black, or and then you'll have an opportunity to start a break off from there. So I'm going to give it a go. And, yeah, um, good. Wish me luck. <laughs> so it's It was oh, such a, a nice more angle, but you don't. Doesn't matter, <laughs> like, but uh, professionals practice the shots a lot because in the main tour you have to be a, such a good long porter to be consistent and win many tournaments. Of course. And you Michael does that very successfully, and he he's one of the best international players in the circuit right now. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, but you know the shots that you do find yourself in matches like this one. Yeah. Practice it. I, I saw that you have uh, such a good timing, so how you develop your timing? Uh, um, I, just, I just watch videos and I think uh, your timing becomes very related to your, your focus as well. When you're not as focused, your timing can sometimes go. Yeah. Um, so you just, I don't know, you, you just practice it. It's like uh, learning anything, really. Yeah, yeah. If you want to do something very well, you practice it properly and hopefully it just becomes natural. Natural. Yeah. yeah. There's no shortcuts, is what I'm saying. <laughs> so work hard, love the game, and Michael Georgi from Cyprus, a ranking event again, uh, winner, one for seven guy. So, so <laughs> if you want to see videos like this, subscribe to our Snooker Pro Club channel and see you on the next episode. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Pleasure. If you enjoyed our video lesson, smash the like button. And if you are new, subscribe to our channel.